What's up, y'all? Me and Mugga11 here, but you can call me Stream Teach. In the last video, we talked to PlayStation 4 owners about how to use their PlayStation 4s in OBS without a capture card. So it's only right we do the same thing for Xbox players. This method is much similar, but slightly different to the one covered in the last video. Before we get into it, let me tell you why you want to do this. It's the same reasons. You want to have chat engagement. You want to have people hype when they show up and when they follow, when they donate, you want them to be acknowledged. You want to notice when you get a raid. You want to notice when you get hosted. You want to have green screen control. You want to use whatever camera you can to give yourself whatever advantage you can. So in order to give yourself that edge up, don't stream directly from Xbox's Twitch app or God forbid the Mixer app. Not that it's bad, but it is dead. OK, nobody's going to watch you there. Let's get into it. Class is in session. Here's what you need. First off, fast internet. When I say fast internet, I don't mean fast Wi-Fi because we're not using Wi-Fi. We're using two ethernet cables. And you're gonna need to have access to Windows 10. You need to be able to reach your modem. If you need to get a long enough ethernet cable, a 100 footer, a 300 footer, whatever, you need to make this ethernet cable reach your router both of them so i got a lot of feedback about the artist rendition on the layout of how you're going to connect these wires or whatever so they sent me another one and i think you guys like this one a little bit more so what you're going to do is make sure that you have your ethernet cables two of them coming from your router and then one going into your xbox the other going into your laptop or your pc tower or whatever you happen to use i use a laptop and then after that you are going to get the xbox console companion app and let's go ahead and google that now about this xbox console companion there is a notification on it when you open it that says that it won't be used soon and it'll be replaced by the xbox app which is currently in beta but it does not have this feature that we need as of right now so do whatever you can to keep that xbox console companion app so we're going to click on windows and then we are going to click get i'm not going to click get because i already have that's what i'm showing you so at the bottom of the screen here i have the icon for it and it's going to connect to my xbox and you're probably going to need to sign in and there's that message i was telling you about here on the left so let's go ahead and click on connection and you can test your stream to see how fast it is. I won't do it because it takes some time for the video, but just know my the connection allows for very high streaming. So let's go ahead and click on stream. It's gonna open it up full screen and I'm gonna take it out of full screen. I have Forza playing right now, just so you know what a game looks like. And then what I'm gonna do is open up OBS to show you how you're gonna get that into your OBS. With Streamlabs, it is a little different, and I'll explain that in a bit. So you're going to click on your plus sign here, and we are going to select Game Capture this time. In the last video, we selected Window Capture for PS4, but for Xbox, Game Capture. Click on OK, and then after that, we are going to capture a specific window, not a full screen window, because I have it windowed. And then we select the window we want to view, which is the Xbox console companion. Sometimes you may have to click crossfire capture mode if it doesn't appear here in the window if you're using a laptop. But as of right now, I don't have a need to do that. If instead of OBS, you're using Streamlabs, instead of using game capture, use window capture. If you have the most updated version of Streamlabs because something changed. But in Streamlabs, I can't capture it with game capture anymore only with window capture so we're going to click on ok we're going to right click on that preview of that game and then i'm going to transform that to fit it to screen to make sure we see everything that we need to see and i will show you what some of that gameplay looks like because i have a high speed connection holy shit! <laughs> because i have a high speed connection because i have good internet good cables the lag is minimal now when i stream a game like forza like tekken that re requires you to have good reflexes i normally don't stream off of the computer screen itself or a monitor but i look at the tv that i'm actually playing the xbox on 
I'm only putting it in OBS on the computer so that the viewers can see it. So obviously after you get the game in there, no stream is complete. I will repeat it one time. No stream is complete without a video capture device. In this case, your webcam, because streaming is about people. And if they can't see you, they can't know you. And if they can't know you, they won't follow you. So let's go ahead and get that window in there. And I'm going to drag that. And again, I am vain. So we are going to make this only about a quarter size. I forgot to mention this in the PlayStation video, but if you hold, I believe it's shift. Oh, no, not that one. And if you hold down, I believe the alt key, you can adjust your borders to make sure you're using that screen real estate and not blocking every piece of the screen with empty room space. So that's it. That's it. It's as easy as that. You're now prepared to make sure that your stream is engaging and not a snooze fest because whenever I, again, call me a snob, call me whatever you want. But I feel like it is of a popular opinion that viewers don't want to see people stream off of consoles directly. And I used to be one of you, but I'm not one of you anymore. And you don't have to be one of you anymore. So Xbox console companion app, capture that window, get your camera, add alerts, please, and then stream to your heart's delight. If you found this video helpful, feel free to throw me a like. If you want to subscribe to the channel for future videos, do that as well. If you have any questions, drop me a comment or you could drop by my stream on Twitch to get a live answer. I stream on Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturdays. And if you want to check me out on social media, ask me a question there. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all me and Mugga11. I can't stress this enough. If you want to be seen, use OBS because seeing is believing. Class dismissed. That was his fault. That was his fault. That was his fault.